When doing simple linear regression, we have to ask ourselves a new question. Not only are we asking ourselves, is, is our data and is our results significant, but now we have to ask ourselves, is do we have a good model? So let me demonstrate what I actually mean. So suppose we have two linear regressions here. Okay? And both of them I'm going to put up will have significant data. Okay, so let's look at this first one. Okay, and we can fit a line to this. All right, so that's kind of model one. And let's do a model two down here. And we will assume that they are on uh, the same scale, so that they're comparable. All right, so there's a big difference between these two models that we have. One is very tightly bunched about our line. The other one is we still have a linear relationship. It's still kind of this positive relationship, but we notice that there's a lot more variability in the data. So like the model, the one that is a better model, or this one does a better job of describing what's going on than this model down here. And we, there is a new variable, or a, a new variable that, that we can calculate and that we can find that will help us determine whether or not our model is any good. And it actually comes in two different flavors. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the coefficient of correlation. And it is just known as R. Okay, so the coefficient of correlation, it simply is, it's just a measure of the degree of linear relationship. So it's just simply like uh, how, how close is our data to the line. It is contained within, so R is contained within negative 1 to 1. It's going to be between one of those values. So as if we are very close to negative 1 or 1, uh, means that we have very linear we have very linear data or our data is also very tight to the line. So if we were just comparing R values, this guy would have a higher R value than this value down here. Uh, okay, so if it's as close to zero, If we're close to zero, it means we're not very linear. And the sign is the direction of relationship. And then just as a caveat that this is, it is sensitive to outliers. So if we had, you know, a data point way up here, this would pull our line and it would kind of decrease our R, even though most of our data points are actually super, super tight. Okay, so that's kind of what R is, our coefficient of correlation. There is another one that we can talk about too, and it is called the coefficient of determination. And 
Most of the time though, we just call this guy r squared. And it really is just little r squared. And our coefficient of determination, what it tells us is it tells us uh, what percent of the variability in the data is explained by the model. All right, so if we were to just remove these lines, there's, there's a lot of variability uh, in, both of these, uh, in, in both of these data sets. But when we use a line, we're able to explain away some of that variability. We're able to basically say, hey, this line predicts what's going on. Up here, way more of the variability has been explained away than down in this model. And we also want to know that this guy is, so r squared is going to be contained within 0 and 1. So typically, we also want to know it's like what's a good uh, r squared value. So it really kind of depends upon the field of study that, that you're in. Some fields want our r squareds very, very high, you know, like in the 95, 99% range. Other fields of study uh, can you know, relax that down a little bit where we're more comfortable with like 80%. Um, but we do want that number as just as high as we, as we possibly can. And so these are two values that can help us understand is, is our model any good? Not only is it significant, like is there actually you know, some sort of slope going on, uh, but does it explain away a lot of the variability in our data?